Adrian Rabiot to Manchester United. Looks like it may actually go ahead. This is a story, of course, we discussed uh, yesterday. For more on it, that headline, by squeaky mum time. Yeah, like <laughs> Very good, because of course, Rabiot's mum is the person in charge of his business, and if they want to get it done, Manchester United will have to speak to her first. How close are we seeing that conversation happening, or has it happened already, Jules? No, it's not. It hasn't happened yet. The, the two clubs don't have a full agreement, but it's progressing pretty quickly, pretty well, in the sense that Eric Ten Hag, for example, spoke to Adrien Rabiot yesterday over the phone, called him. They had a good, good conversation. It was the first contact that they had together and and the manager doesn't call a player if he's not really keen on him joining the club and I think Rabio appreciated that. The two clubs are finalizing an agreement and then it will be down to Manchester United sorting out really this transfer with Veronique Rabio, Adrian Zmem, who is also his agent. At the moment she doesn't want to speak to any intermediaries or anything. She just wants direct contact with John Myrtle or Fletcher or someone from United. Nobody in between if you want. And until that happens this deal will not happen, will not go through. But certainly, like we reported on, on the ESPN website, he's keen, Adrien is keen on going, he wants a new challenge. And from the discussion that he had with Ten Hag, he's really had the feeling that Ten Hag really wants him to. Uh, Jules, it's interesting from a Juventus point of view, the fans are delighted to see the back of him, <laughs> given the amount of money that he, he's made and the lack of input really he's had since making that move from PSG. I suppose if I was going to be negative here, you would say, why would Manchester United want someone who's done nothing really since he left France? It's a, it's a fair point. I mean, if we look at his time at Juventus, three seasons, three different managers, no real, no real identity to any of those teams. I guess Sarri maybe the first season where I, I think Rabiot was actually not too bad. And then under Pirlo and, and Allegri, it was more difficult, although he played 45, 45 games last season in all competition, which is not too bad for someone who is rubbish. I understand, I understand this, this negativity, if you want. I think there's talent there. He's 27. Ten Hag wants a left-footed player. He wants someone who's a bit more physical than, than, than someone like Fred, for example. And Rabiot is, you know, is taller. Of course, if you look at the stats in terms of goals and assists, but also progressive carries and things like that, dribble, like successful dribbles, for example, he's not up there. He's, he's not giving the brain. I, I, I give you that. But I still think this is better than Fran and McTominay. And I think right now, they need players who will improve the team. And certainly, Ten Hag believes that Rabiot will do, will improve the team. Where does he fit in? You mentioned Fred McTominay. Is it is this a replacement for one of them, Jules? I think he can play a double pivot. I think probably his best position will be in the midfield three on the left-hand side, where he can, he can also be a bit more box-to-box -box because I think he's got te technical ability. is not a problem. It's how he uses it. If you, give the, if you give him a bit more freedom with the ball going forward, I think he can, he can certainly help you. But he can also play in a double pivot like he does, like he's done at time with France, for example. He can play more wide even if you want and in a more kind of a hybrid position. But, but I, I feel that, yeah, he will replace one of Fred and McTominay for sure. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.